We've all been told covering our coughs and sneezes, <coughs> avoiding touching surfaces and washing our hands can help stop the coronavirus. But what if its transmission has been aided by another means being ignored? <coughs> airborne particles called aerosols. Those which are smallest stay in the air and may stay for sufficiently long periods of time that they could be inhaled by others and cause infection. Dr. Moravska is one of 239 scientists from 32 countries who've signed an open letter to the WHO calling on it to include measures to counter the aerosol risk in their recommendations. This would uh, protect people, save lives, uh, protect against COVID. <coughs> Current WHO guidelines focus on the virus spreading through droplets produced when we cough or sneeze, typically over about two metres. But the much smaller aerosols are also produced when we speak and breathe. This modelling by Finland's Aalto University demonstrates how coronavirus could spread via aerosols in a supermarket when an infected person coughs. The researchers say it takes several minutes for the cloud to spread and disperse. They're really tiny. They're really invisible. They're buoyant. They don't fall to the ground. First uh, and the most important um, control measure is to make sure that ventilation is sufficiently high. As well as calls for more stringent policies on face masks. But the WHO argues the experiments run by Dr. Moravska and her group were based on lab experiments rather than evidence from the field. One of the UN body's top experts, Dr. Benedetta Alagranzi, told the LA Times the WHO has not judged the existing evidence sufficiently convincing to consider airborne transmission as having an important role in COVID-19 spread. To help stop the spread of viruses. In Australia, the routine use of face masks is currently not recommended. The health department says this will remain the case while the rate of community transmission for COVID-19 remains low.